Good evening, everyone. This is Storm Shield meteorologist Elise Smith here with your Monday night weather update. Today we have seen a high of 67 degrees here in Valpo. And looking at our average temperatures for this season, we're staying pretty consistent with these fall-like conditions. In comparison to 2005 when we hit a high of 84 degrees and a low of 30 degrees in 2004. Temperatures across the region right now tonight, we're going to be seeing 59 degrees here in Valpo around 6 o'clock, 60 in Gary, 62 in Chicago, and moving into Tuesday morning, we're going to rise up to about 61 degrees here in Valpo. And throughout the Chicagoland area in Indiana, we have pretty consistent temperatures for us. 61 degrees for Tuesday night, and overnight, we're going to drop down to about 53 degrees here in Valpo, arriving at 62 for our Wednesday morning. And continuing on for our Wednesday, 64 degrees again. We do have some warm air though to our west in Ottawa and Pontiac at 74 and 75 degrees in Illinois. For our current radar, we've had cloudy conditions all weekend. If you are at Relay for Life, you know we had very overcast skies and even some misty fall conditions as well. But right now in Valpo for our Tuesday morning, some clouds will still be in the area, but we're expecting those to clear out of the way by the evening and into Wednesday. Clouds still stretch across the eastern part of the United States for Tuesday morning as we continue on throughout our Tuesday. Clearer skies and Wednesday we'll be seeing those clearer skies again with warmer temperatures. One thing we're going to be looking out for though on Thursday is the possibility of some rain. Right here you can see the slow system up in Canada is going to be causing this rain band to move into about Iowa and Missouri for Thursday morning and into Chicagoland by Thursday afternoon around 2 p.m. We could be seeing some thunderstorm development with this rain and it will be in the Valpo area later on for Thursday night. Across the nation, though, we are still watching Hurricane Joaquin out there in the Atlantic Ocean. It's been affecting the East Coast a lot just because in South Carolina, we do have that flooding. And here at VU TV, we will be monitoring that. 64 degrees here in Valpo. We do have warmer conditions below us and to the west of us, and that will be moving our way to Valpo for Wednesday, arriving at 61 degrees for Wednesday morning. Continuing on, 62 degrees as a warm-up here in Valpo for Wednesday, and then overnight, we're gonna drop down to about 51 degrees, 62 for our Thursday morning, and here's really cool. You can see where this cold front and where that rain is gonna be stretching, right here from Madison all the way to Dad Port. So for Thursday, we're going to warm up to about 73, and once those thunderstorms and rain comes into the area, we will be cooling down. But for right now, we do have 49 degrees today with some cloudy skies for tonight. Into tomorrow, we're going to be seeing a high of 66 degrees. After the afternoon, we're going to be seeing some sunnier skies as well, but starting off with a cloudier day. For our five-day forecast, sunny skies for Wednesday, and we will be watching those thunderstorms on Thursday. We're going to be warm, though, until about 6 o'clock that night because that cold front and rain is going to be passing through us into Friday morning. Friday, and for the quick look at our first weekend update, we're going to be seeing some sunnier skies and hopefully some cooler temperatures, but with that sunshine, it's going to feel a lot warmer. I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Elise Smith, and have a fantastic night.